What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to the 7 days to die tips and hints video. So the first thing I'm going to say is when shooting zombies, always aim for the head. As you can see headshots do a lot more damage and they can absolutely destroy. Also make sure to search the bodies because you can get some good loot. Secondly, to find iron and stone, use an axe on these rocks that are grey with brown speckles all over them. As you can see I'm getting one iron for every two rocks roughly. Um, so this is a really good way of sourcing up an iron and obviously you're getting your rocks. Make sure you break it all the way down as you'll see in a second when you hit it there you get a big bonus. So I've got 11 rocks and 5 iron for that one hit. Um, and you can get 3 times or you can go through the rock 3 times so there's always a good source of iron and rock for anybody that needs it. Another little tip is to have something like corn on your hot bar so that when you run out of stamina what you can do is just eat your corn um, with your L2 which uh, will increase your food. Again the same with water drink that whenever you need it um, once your stamina runs out and then it will help you build back up your stamina so then you can continue um, grinding for materials uh, so that you pretty much don't have to stop so it's a continuous cycle of collecting materials. Next thing which is a pretty obvious one is use your axe to collect wood from the trees um, and then you can get a, a good source. Obviously the higher your axe the higher amount of wood you can collect. Um, again the fire axe is also good for collecting wood. Again make sure to go right the way down um, because again in the last hit you get a nice bonus of extra materials which again is always nice to get so you can see 54 also always search birds nests because you need the feathers as much as possible to create your arrows so don't forget birds nest and then create your arrows whenever you need them something else that is useful is if you come across the cornfield make sure to gather the corn this can be eaten raw so that if you are hungry always grab it which is just hitting triangle so you've got a continuous source of food secondly when looting a house break through the front door if it is wood if not then break if it's a metal door try and break through the walls instead because it's quicker and easier make sure when you're looting as well you listen out for zombies as they do try and approach you um, and make sure you search absolutely everywhere because you search bookcases you can get schematics to learn weapons um, also in the kitchen you tend to get water jars and things like that now another really useful thing is where to find clay so if you look for these cotton plants if there's abundance of cotton underneath them you'll get this yellow uh, whitey colored um, soil if you dig that you'll actually get the clay as you can see here lumps of clay and this is extremely useful for way, uh, when you've got your forge and you need it for producing higher quality metals again also make sure to grab the cotton because this again is useful for higher items in the game Make sure as well, each morning you upgrade your defences, as obviously the zombies are going to do damage to them, as you can see here with all of these wooden things. So in the case of with the axe, hold L2 if you've got wood and it will repair it again, then iron is the next level up after that. So make sure you've got plenty of wood on you, hold down your L2 and repair the items. Uh, collect stuff from the car with a wrench and then you'll get yourself iron, car springs, gasoline, uh, leather, you can also get car engines, um, batteries, radiators, and all different things like this which again are used for higher items in the game so make sure if you find a wrench use L2 on it to collect from the car to get all the materials that you're going to need now to find coal you find these lumps in the ground again they're a black with a slight white tint to them use either a pickaxe or a shovel and mine these out and then you'll get yourselves lumps of coal again making sure you go right to the end where you get your little bonus there of extra coal which again is very useful uh, coal burns for longer so it's good for using it in fires and in the forge Nitrate can be found in the white um, lumps in the ground. Again, these again use your shovel or your pickaxe. And nitrate is used to make um, high-end gunpowder and things like that with the coal. Um, so if you collect yourself up as much nitrate, again remembering to go right to the very end so you get your bonus. And then you can look here um, with your nitrate. If you click a triangle on it. Uh, it'll bring up the options to see recipes. Press up, and then you can see there's the gunpowder. And then for gunpowder, it is just lumps of coal and the nitrate powder, guys. Okay guys, hopefully you've found some of these tips useful. If you have, please make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment as well. Let me know what you think so far of 7 Days to Die. If you've got any other more tips and tricks, make sure to let me know in the comments below and leave it for other people to find. Uh, also, if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Um, also, if you would like, come over and check me out on twitch.tv slash Gary underscore 87, where I'm live streaming 7 Days to Die most days at the moment. I've got a total of about 20 hours in game over the last 4 days. Uh, but anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye!